Well, hello, it's your old mag Dave Spencer back with you again. And this afternoon we're in Colchester in Essex, which is August 2020, and we're still in the middle of this uh, corona malarkey and uh, all sorts of, uh, sort of bits of plastic uh, blocking up the roads. I don't know what's going to happen to all this plastic when they finish with it. I thought we were trying to do away with this stuff anyway. Uh, from my uh, reckoning, the more messing about you do with normality, the less people would, uh, come out to uh, spend money in the towns. Anyway, that's up to them, isn't it? I'm only here to look at the buses. And what shall we see? We shall see what we see this afternoon. And uh, just keeping a weather eye on the uh, sky, the BBC promised unbroken sunshine and temperatures in the 30s. And uh, it's cloudy and uh, the possibility of thunder. I don't know why the BBC bothers doing forecasts, they just can't get them right. Anyway, I shall crack on and see you all later. So, uh, catch up with you later. your time mate. There we go. Come on park and ride, you make it. No? Yes? No. Well, there's a 50-50 chance and he didn't. <laughs> Happen again. They soon uh, pull in and fill the road up. And if it's a school day, well, all hell breaks loose. I like to be here in school term. You certainly get a, a great deal more variety. But uh, the kids haven't been to school for about ten years now. It seems. Actually, I think it was March. But uh, then they had uh, Easter, and then they just didn't go to school. And then they get the school holidays off, even though they've already had a load of time off. And uh, then they're supposed to go back to school. When are the people supposed to go back to their offices? They reckon that two thirds of office workers are not in their offices. I don't know what they're doing, they're skiving. I try to sort of move myself in the position so I can uh, sort of get them going past and up the uh, Corona virus precaution road. Look at that, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. Well, it all seems quiet on the Western Front, doesn't it? All save the occasional car full of Essex young men who scream at things out the window. I don't know if it's obscenities or uh, have a nice day. Could be anything actually, I can't understand them. You need a translator.
gradually the uh, sun will get in position. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've done a point of giving up. I was. Let's go in. Well, your equipment puts mine to shame. Oh, we've got an open topper. We might not be getting that many, but uh, with Headingdom's providing the services, at least it's uh, of interest. I've just been trying to figure out where the stops are. End and this afternoon we've been to Colchester and then we just got a last few parting shots at Clacton, our first ever visit to Clacton, whether for uh, any sort of visit, film, whatever. Never been here before. So uh, not a lot of buses, but you know, a bit interesting. Just to say, Shane, the uh, stops aren't very well placed for the sun. Perhaps they're okay in the morning. Anyway, we've learnt a lesson there, haven't we? So uh, from me, as usual on these occasions, it's bye from me, bye for now, and God willing, stay safe, stay well, and we're all going to meet up again on another adventure fairly soon. So uh, I'm off to get an ice cream, actually, perhaps a, a brew, and find Mandy. She's sitting down the seat, so bye for now.